Thanks for watching the Cell Structure Teacher's Guide. This step-by-step -step video follows the teacher's guide created to assist educators with the cell structure activity. We are using tweezers for demonstration purposes only. You will not need them for the activity. Have your students cover their work area with newspapers. Wad the newspaper sheets toward the center to create a smooth cell shape of your choice. Tape the newspapers in place. Wrap the cell with plastic wrap, paper towels, or white paper. This makes the inside surface of the cell smooth as possible. Students need one inch or approximately five cups of water in their project base. Fold a plaster cloth strip in half lengthwise. Hold the strip by the corners and drag it through the water. Lay the strip around the mouth of the cell, smoothing with your fingers. Lay the rest of the plaster cloth over the cell and smooth, overlapping each strip by 50%, smoothing to fill the plaster in the holes. Reinforce the outside edges with extra plaster cloth. After the plaster cloth has slightly hardened, carefully remove everything away from the plaster cell and remove hard pieces that may have formed. Set the cell inside the project base overnight to dry. Roll the modeling clay into tubes and ball shapes to model cell parts. The clay stays tacky for four to five minutes so parts can be joined at this time. If the clay won't stick, it can be glued on later. Roll the clay into pea-sized ball shapes to make bases for the cell parts. Put all cell parts into the project base overnight to dry. The next day, straighten the wire by pulling it between your fingers. Cut the wire into various lengths to fit inside the cell. Save the excess wire for later. Mount the cell parts onto the wire pieces. Use two wires and two bases for larger cell parts. Paint the cell parts any color. Blend colors for more color choices. Dip the wire end of the cell parts into the glue and push them gently into the wire bases. Allow the glue to dry. Cut the label material into any size or shape. Write the name of the cell part on the label with markers. Cut the excess wire into various lengths. Dip the ends of the wire in the glue and attach it to the labels. Allow the glue to dry. Now you can create an easel to display your masterpiece. Fold under all four of the bottom tabs and place glue on the bottoms of the tabs. Attach the glued tabs to the base. When the glue dries, glue the finished cell onto the easel and let the glue dry before moving. <laughs>